we often hear about global climate change and its effects on increasing temperatures or changing weather patterns around the world. But what we don't hear about are more local effects, like what's happening here in Minnesota. And that has to do with our moose population. Moose are one of the primary subsistence species to the Grand Portage Band. And for that reason, it's a very high natural resources priority. But second of all, moose populations were showing signs of population decline. We've been doing this since 2010. University of Minnesota has gotten involved over this time. This is really important to us, and in particular, and important to our ecosystem health division. With our moose population declining, this is definitely an issue related to biodiversity and ecosystem health. So we began studying animals by collaring them, tracking their movements through different habitat types to see what habitats they were using under a warming climate. And then in addition to that, we also did analysis on what was causing mortality or death of some of our adult moose. And what we're seeing is deer are actually moving into moose range and into moose habitat which is what is allowing brainworm to come into contact with moose. Brainworm or meningeal worm, and this is a parasite that is transmitted from white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer are natural hosts and they don't suffer ill effects from it as far as we know. Whereas moose, when they become infected with this parasite, they can often suffer severe neurologic disease and die from it. The goal in doing this research is to systematically break down all the different factors that are affecting something like the moose population. Once we measure each of those different factors, it gives us the tools to address it. You know, for example, if brainworm is a major factor in moose population health, then maybe we focus on deer populations which carry brainworm so that moose populations could be rehabilitated. Oh.